Hi guys, welcome to Paul's Cooking Adventures. Today we're going to be making a musman curry paste. This is a beautiful curry paste from Thailand, one of my favourites. Can't wait to cook some recipes with this one. Let's get cooking. Let's run through the ingredients. We're going to need some cinnamon, star anise, cardamom, some cloves, some fennel seeds, some coriander and cumin. If you've got the whole ones, this is much better to use because we want to roast these first. And some chilies. We've got some garlic, some eschalots, some ginger, some shrimp paste, and some chili oil. Time to prepare all these ingredients. We just need to chop them up. And there we go, ready to go. That's the ingredients, let's get them cooking. Just frying off our lovely spices. They're getting really toasty already. You can really start to smell the aroma coming out from them. I've also added in some peppercorns. The recipe for this is in the description. Just check it out. Once they start to brown off and toast, we can now add in our wet ingredients. We can go in with some chili oil. And our shrimp paste. Make sure to keep on moving your spices, you don't want any to burn. If any of your spices are powders, they can go in now. It's ready now to go into our blender. With our cinnamon, I take out our cinnamon now, and then all the rest of the spices can go into the blender. Thank you for joining me today. There is our musman curry paste. It's not that hard to make, was it? Pretty simple. You can now put this one away in your fridge. It'll last a couple of weeks. If you want to keep it any longer, put it in some ice trays, freeze it down, and then take it out of the ice trays once it's frozen and put it into Ziploc bags. It'll last you six months in the freezer. Thank you everyone for joining me. I really appreciate anyone who subscribed to my channel. Um, I can't wait to start making some beautiful recipes with this.